Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a video to give you a quick heads up that Microsoft has issued a warning of users of Quick Assist, which is basically a remote desktop help app, a tool designed for remote access, that cyber criminals are exploiting AI, artificial intelligence, to scam users, possibly using the Quick Assist remote access tool. Now, Microsoft has clarified, though, that Quick Assist itself has not been compromised. But the use of this software by malicious actors poses a significant risk. That's why Microsoft has issued this warning, basically compelling Microsoft to act in safeguarding its user base regarding the tool possibly being exploited by bad actors. Now, although Gerent of AR in certain situations can be useful, as I've spoken about previously on the channel, it has also presented new security challenges because obviously you get a lot of high-end AI tools now and hackers can now create um, increasingly convincing scams using sophisticated AI tools. And things that these scams can include are things like scareware, which tricks you into thinking that your device has been compromised. And then obviously the bad actors want you to take immediate action. And that's how they can get into your system or get access to your data. Now, Microsoft has this officially to say, and I'm quoting from the announcement. Tech support scammers often pretend to be legitimate IT support from well-known companies and use social engineering tactics to gain the trust of their targets. They then attempt to employ tools like Quick Assist to connect to the target's device. And that's according to that announcement recently by Microsoft. Now, apparently, these attacks are not limited to Windows. The scammers also attack Mac users who use Quick Assist on Mac, for obviously for the different Office products they have installed on those systems. And if they are successful, the hackers can gain unauthorized access to your user devices which will enable them to as mentioned possibly get hold of your sensitive personal information and credentials now i must be honest i don't think this is going to be affecting the majority more the minority but i'm just giving you a heads up like we like to do on the channel because microsoft has confirmed that it will never reach out to its clients directly to inform them about a fault and, and request help to fix it and that's what these scammers are doing they basically get in hold of you um, using these specialized ai tools and then through remote access apps like quick assist can gain access to your system now what i always advise and i have posted one or two videos and i'll leave a video on how to disable remote assistance for better PC optimization and security. I'll leave that link down below and somewhere in the end screen. Because I personally like to keep all remote assistance or remote desktop tools turned off on my system for this exact reason. And uh, um, I would advise you to do the same if you are not using it or not in an environment where you need to you be using the tools on a regular basis. And I think in cases like that, you'd be more in an enterprise environment than a home user environment. But nonetheless, putting it out there just to keep you guys posted. Be vigilant and keep on your toes. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.